Hello dear friends. This video describes how to enter control program elements manually from the front panel of the logo module, which is one of the most important advantages of this controller. The module screen also allows you to configure parameters and correct the program in place. Without using software it will also be shown how to practically enter a program from the control panel. First, a quick introduction to the front panel elements of the logo module. This, power terminals, input terminals slot for an additional memory card, with which you can transfer the program control panel buttons for entering program elements and setting parameters output terminals, socket for connecting an interface screen for viewing parameters of functions and program elements the control program can be entered manually from the module panel or using the logo soft comfort software on the slide is an example of the program being entered entering an output element begins with activating the virtual button new click ok the program will display a free output element for example q1 if the proposed output needs to be changed to another, then select Q and then convert the letter, Q, to another output element, for example, to M. You can change the number in the same way. The direction of program input is from the output element to the input elements. Usually it is from right to left. The program functions are grouped into blocks. These are the GF block, main functions, and the SF block, special functions. The principle of selecting a new element is a circular search down or up. You can enter any elements or blocks, including a space, if you want to remove the entry. Before selecting an item, highlight the letter, I, and press the OK button. This excerpt describes the ability to enter a program from the logo programmable module panel. First of all, it is necessary to stop the execution of the program by selecting the stop action from the menu. Then select the program action and clear program. This removes the existing program. To record a new program, select edit program, and press OK, new, OK. The screen will display Q1. The specified item can be changed. To do this, Press the OK button and select the required element from the number of scrolled elements. Q1 fits. Left. There should be and logic here. Press the OK button. This makes it possible to choose. We choose GF and confirm it. The primary element appears on the screen. If you press the OK button again, the element will start blinking. This makes it possible to scroll through other elements of this block. When choosing, you need to pay attention to the output inversion. It is invisible. Keep track of the action names. In this case, and logic is appropriate. We confirm the choice. Move the cursor to the first upper input of the block. Click OK. I1 appears and blinks. Confirm your selection by clicking OK. Move the cursor down. Click OK. I1 appears. OK again. The element starts flashing. Move the cursor to the right and up. Select I2. Fits. Confirm. We enter inversion. Move the cursor to the intersection and press the key combination. OK. Down. Or up. OK. Thus, the input becomes selected. Inverted. Press the ESC button two times in a row. The editor asks you to remember the program. We remember. Press ESC again. The start action will appear, by selecting which we turn on the execution of the control program. If we want to edit a program, then first of all, we stop the execution of the program. Stop, and then select the program, then select edit program action. Select New. By pressing the OK button a new output element Q2 appears. By moving the cursor to the left, we enter the AND logic from the GF block. The system remembers the last choice. So it is the first element that usually matches. Enter I1, 
I2. We confirm the input. In this case, we have I1 inverted. Enter the inversion. OK. Down. Or up. OK. Press ESC. Exit the editor. Save the entered program. Press ESC again and then select Start. The operation of the program can be viewed and controlled on the screen. To do this, press the button to the right and select the input field I by clicking on the physical buttons that are connected to the inputs I1 and I2. We check the correctness of the connection. Now let's check the work of the program. Press the button to the right and select the input field Q when the first button is pressed. The Q1 lamp will light up. And when the second button is pressed, the Q2 lamp will light up. If both buttons are pressed, the output lamps do not work.